Students learn in a lot of different ways, so I definitely wanted to take the time to work with my CTE teacher to develop a class that would allow them to experience math in a real-life setting. Math can very often be very dry and seem isolated from real life, but in fact it is infused in many different things. So when he offered the opportunity to develop an engineering class, I wanted to jump on board. CAD classes naturally have math in them, so there really wasn't a struggle for us to develop math curriculum that coordinated with the CAD class. In fact, what happened was my CTE teacher had a class already developed and we just look at the projects together to see what math naturally blended within those. And we reflected on the standards to see which ones really were most applicable. And just to make sure it was especially math content driven, I infused some vocabulary terms, technical terms, formulas that students would see as a crossover with a regular math class. So math teachers sometimes may be a little bit hesitant about working with other teachers or teachers outside of their department thinking that maybe the math won't be as rich as it can be. So to make sure that that is a natural connection between the teacher of a math class and an engineering-based class or a CTE class, it's really essential for the conversation to be both ways. When a teacher in the math subject has concerns, wants to make sure that there's enough vocabulary and rich mathematical content the CTE teacher has to be open to those ideas, but likewise when the CTE teacher says there's not a natural connection there, they have to work to see what standards would be most applicable. I don't really see any problems with it provided that there is a math teacher who is an overseer, who verifies that there is indeed rich math content, not just the career technical education content. If the math teacher is there as an overseer, maybe developing a pretest or a post-test to verify that adequate math content is there, then I think there shouldn't really be any troubles.